uh, the robot track decoder said <laughs> it was actually Far Cry 6. It was a Far Cry 6 okay. trailer. Okay. Okay. Hello, hello. Hey, everyone. Hey. We are live. So, uh, as you can see, we've got Twitch Gaming up here, and uh, that will be where we watch Devolver's uh, Fever Dream of an E3 presentation. Uh, Max Pass Plus, which I swear to God sounds like a tampon brand, which is probably given Devolver Digital is probably on purpose. Yeah. Oh yeah. Certainly. Yeah. See, I'm going to see PogChamp. I'm going to go Cutting it close. I mean... Close call there with uh, yeah. your internet dying at the worst possible time. Yeah, yeah. so so for those of you that stuck around, thank you so much. Uh, I know there's 200 folks watching right now. I appreciate that. Um, we had the weirdest thing happen. I went downstairs. I went to grab just a, a bottle of water and something to eat real quick. And then I came back and my internet was down. I was gone for maybe three minutes. So I had to really quickly go through all the troubleshooting steps that I know <laughs> to get the internet back up. Um, but fortunately, oh. it, it came back right in the nick of time. Uh, Critmonger makes a good point. Refresh the patron chat. The patron chat is... Yes, yeah, sorry, sorry. I... I, I chat by. I, like, it's so there's, hard there's, to not talk to these it was, robots. it was kind of a hair on fire yeah. moment. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you'll, you'll have to cut me just a tiny okay, bit of slack. We'll, we'll I again. literally <laughs> fixed my internet in two minutes. Um, <laughs> All right. It's um, kind of crazy to me that this is only a half hour. Go. Which is always awesome. Um, yeah, I know it's only a half hour. That's why, like, even though I, I was, I just stayed at the computer scheduling the stream, tweeting it out. I didn't go get to eat like I wanted to, but I'm like, you know what? It's half an hour. I can wait 30 more minutes. I still got my coffee. It's all good. Yeah. Long time my coffee. Water left. So we're good. Yep. So it looks like we're just about four minutes away. Um. I like that dude's shirt. I don't know all of what it says, but uh, I imagine that it's just. Uh, I wonder if it's like the text Star Wars text scroll. Yeah. Yeah, I saw in Death Japanese, Star maybe. in there, so I imagine it is. But yeah. All right. Where, what are we even looking at right now? I don't like know. A, well, yeah. Like a schedule. Well, before that, it was like two things on like. It's like an outside bar, like a, with, with yeah. really nice looking weather. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, know, you know what I find interesting? This this is not entirely unfamiliar for those of you that have never been to E3. This exact stream is usually playing on monitors right inside the convention hall at oh, various yeah. places. Oh, uh -huh, that's true. I'm barely ever paying attention. I'm, yeah, it's I'm like it, I'm. I usually when you're crowded around waiting for uh, something to happen. Yeah, they, it is 1:30 and Devolver is not playing yet. I'm gonna make sure that I'm yeah. actually. No, it says Twitch gaming back in three minutes and thirty seconds. So yeah, it's just, yeah. Okay, Seems I just like wanted to make sure I wasn't late. behind or something. Uh, so it's so it's just Twitch's stream is uh, they're they're not running wow. exactly on schedule. Alex yeah. Gavin beat Paper Mario sixty four for the first time. Congrats! Nice. That's awesome. Wow, that's that's awesome. I've I've not even played Great Paper game. Mario sixty four. Uh, Thousand years. Some actually really? consider it better than Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Right. Yeah, I was gonna say Thousand Thousand Year Doors probably the it's the only paper mario i've finished and well i think i've finished super paper mario but that's kind of a different beast oh shadow warrior gameplay trailer too um man in hindsight i really wish you could have experienced that game in a better less yeah. hectic format yeah. because it is a great game but that was not the way to no it really the, wasn't the gx game club was not the way to do it that was such an aggressive schedule it really was uh, it was untenable a good idea but an untenable one yeah. Uh, and Zumi's asking if we're going to react to Gearbox right after this. Is Gearbox the name? Uh, it says there, the, the right after this is a dev thing, at least on Twitch Gaming. Uh, Gearbox was today, but I think we ultimately decided we're not. I, I don't think there's not too much. Huge Gearbox is probably just like, tiny Tina stuff. Like, what else does Gearbox do? Right. Yeah, for, for me, I'll, I'll be honest, there's very little interest in whatever Gearbox is cooking up. It, they're just not a yeah. developer that I really click with. Um. I just don't think any of us would really have too much to react. We just wouldn't have much to say. We're not really big Gearbox fans. Like it's mostly Borderlands, Brothers in Arms, Homeworld. Yeah, I, I totally respect that folks like those franchises, but I yeah, you would you would probably see a very uh, down tempo reaction stream from yeah. us. Yeah, we, we would have liked to. Oh, go ahead, Derek. Well, I was just gonna say oh. that I'm I'm gonna probably have. Good lord, <laughs> Jesus Christ! That was ridiculous. Yeah, <laughs> I want to play um, this. 
<laughs> this is just <laughs> over the top enough to be. I think Amy just found her new favorite game right oh, there. Of course, this is that yeah. one. totally a rally. <laughs> Literal world. meat grinder in the middle there. Jeez. Um, um, I, I am definitely going to watch the wholesome direct later. We didn't get to react to it. We had some family stuff, just you know, other commitments uh, that just with timing wise, we couldn't do it. But I do want to see what they showed off because I yeah, like same. Yeah, I like what uh, they do. Oh, here we go. Oh, boy. All right. What I'm saying for... is I'm going to grab some dinner and maybe afterwards see if I can do a. This is uh, our first year of bringing you the very. Oh, like a light deep dive? Video yeah, I'll, maybe a light deep dive into mm -hmm. Mario Rabbit. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Don't know if there's a lot of it. Old, outdated, irrelevant. She's straight busted. I've got. All right, time for the E3 version of shit posting. Today is only the beginning. <laughs> the future of video games and the I, future. I just, I love that they do what they do. Future. I'm glad this exists. Yeah, I like just covered in blood. <laughs> I don't give a flipping freak about so stupid live video game events. Hello. I need you to help me stop the future's future future. I'm in on a million million streams. It's mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure about that? I've told this story on TNT, but the very first time they ran one of these, I had the flu, and I wasn't I wasn't entirely sure that what I was seeing was actually happening. Uh huh. So then, you know, and we it was real. Wrap it yeah, up. yeah, I remember you I have mentioned that before. Like I remember. Four, five year deal. Huh? I mean, huh? Right? Well, I think it's shit garbage. Fucking shit garbage. <laughs> I mean, it's a dumb idea that'll never work. And you're an asshole for thinking it up. Who thinks this shit up? It was up? me. Uh, I thought an this shit. An asshole thinks this shit up. We're not doing a four year long series of narrative <laughs> videos about the futures, futures, whatever the shit. Devolver Digital Cinematic Universe. You shit your fucking face. That was supposed to be me, right? My face. Is that even legal? <laughs> All Devolver Digital new players release wholly any work likeness, attribution, and slash or image rights upon execution of an employment contract, clear as day. Basically, we can do whatever we want with your likeness, even if it is some stupid deep fake video abomination or whatever. Enough! Enough of this! You less talking, more typing. You, I don't like it. The internet would never buy it. We produce video games, video games at Devolver Digital and damn good ones. <laughs> Told. Get the hell out of my conference uh -huh. room and take your dumb movie idea with you. Yeah, but listen, it's not just a dumb movie idea. It's a multi-layered narrative universe. You don't, you don't understand. This is art. This is, this is painting with light. This is cinema. cinema! <laughs> <laughs> well, I literally thought they were going to toss him out the window. Yeah, I thought so too. Damn white hot arms race out there. A hype eats hype, media fueled intimidation game, a boss mode, knuckle fuck nut kick. And we are falling way the mother effing ever shit behind. <laughs> knuckle Melissa, fuck nut kick. Do the numbers. <laughs> 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 bad people. Really I can't. I feel like choosing marks is a yeah. good choice uh, for my I background is a can. good choice. New, but not too new, but new enough so that it seems new to those know it all, know nothings in the know, you know? Actually, ma'am, I think. No. No, no, no. Record <laughs> scratch. What? Who are you and why are you making noises at me? Nina. Record scratch. Ma'am. Nina Struthers, I'm an adjunct under executive on the marketing team. I'm gunning for synergy officer one day. Why are you pouring the coffee? Because we need coffee. Synergy <laughs> officer. Nina, is it? Put the coffee down and talk at my face. <laughs> well, uh, uh, the thing of it is, um, a few of us were talking and... Monetization. As a service. See? What he said. That's got to be the most ridiculous... Let's fucking do it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's fucking do oh it. God. She's great. For she is good. Four decades. And counting, Devolver Digital has been at the absolute bleeding edge of technical, or social, and humanitarian progress. It's just a picture of a hot dog on the wall. Now that's uh -huh. no accident. The global research and development teams at Devolver Digital Incorporated have worked tirelessly to deliver to you, the unwashed <laughs> consumers, so many breakthroughs in the video game entertainosphere that it's arguable as to whether the countless problems sphere. we've successfully solved were ever actually problems in the first place. Devolver earliest access delivered games. I love that old ass computer. Exactly. All the old ass computers. A developer even thinks of an idea and that shit's already for sale. Boom! Devolver digital screen pay allowed loud map consumers to not only like throw money gag. at screens, but to throw money at our federally unregistered offshore corporate bank I think that's a carrying reference on the right. Federally Devolver unregistered. Oh god, the guy bashed his own skull in the back. Before background. electric car burns made it all the rage with loot box coin. The market's first end to the last physical cryptocurrency that, that lived entirely oh, on the Oh, I want that giant brownie. You're blam! 
Last year, we spent money we didn't even have to fill the void chart huge when your mad thirsty consumer soul went if it was canceled. The Volvo's Land Expo straight up revolutionized the very concept of marketing as the industry's very first quadruple A playable video game trade show that you could download and play as a video game and video game play as a video game. Progress can't be stopped though, no. So this year, the Volvo Digital is aim at the most right. lucrative subscription service video game market. Welcome, Welcome to Devolver, Devolver Max Pass, Pass Plus. Plus. It's like a straight shot at Ubisoft. Uh-huh. Yeah, and that's like... Um, straight up. I think it's also like, you know, the streaming services, like <laughs> HBO Max. Uh... Hmm. Welcome to the future. Games. She's got a couple of jacked service. people feeding her grapes. A graves. razor-edged <laughs> industry it. shop drive that has served to convert what was, traditionally, a one-time purchase into a potentially lifelong chain ball commitment to reoccurring payments for video games that, well, let's be real deal about this, most of you don't even enjoy anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Devolver likes to take things further. <laughs> That's the big dive. You big know, carrier. Take the leap, push the envelope, toad the wet sprocket, Go big or go home, and baby, we ain't got no home to go home to. <laughs> Devolver likes to take these to a place that isn't even funny. So much is, is creepily possible and uncomfortably prescient. That is why monetization as a service. <clears throat> yeah, give me the juice. Yeah. <laughs> We see it as a groundbreaking new way to keep consumers locked into a semi-regular non-payment schedule with a novel, if not needlessly complex approach, where in a top-tier service subscriber, that is you, look at you, is granted access to dozens, if not hundreds of dozens, of premium purchases at the low, low monthly price of no cost to you for the subscription itself. The guy on the right looks like Jason Momoa. A lot of people are saying that. That is the Max Pass Plus difference. You simply apply, and your credit competency, work history, genealogical stray factors, just total a bunch of chili dogs. Weight, environmentally induced super. <laughs> oh, they're announcing state, Sonic. And very first right? Magic deck are evaluated on a twenty-nine. Gotta say, they don't look half bad. Boosh, you're no, absolutely man, road you know, I, I, I just miss me Devolver's E3 hot dogs. Because that's like a thing. Like you go across oh, the street it? from E3 never... and you can get free hot dogs and beer at Devolver's Oh, parking God, lot. I never got any of that because, well, you know. Oh, oh yeah, of course. He, I, don't, I only Dang got it, it once, I think. But yeah. Dude, I go there every year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bet. I'm not going to lie. That chili dog looks fucking delicious right about yeah, now. Does. That is uh, like Devolver's parking lot for people in the access. media. Is like the daytime version of the JW. Like everybody hangs uh-huh. out there because you can get free booze games, and food and, and play video game games and chill. For free. Yeah. Well, well, not the purchases. They're not free. That would be insane. <laughs> 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 those purchases, though, totally free. What's the website again? I wonder what's actually on there. DevolverMaxPass.com, I think, is what Let's- it was. Well, let's check a look. Hmm? Check a look. At some of the video games <laughs> that amazing consumers like you can look forward to, if you get approved, of course, with Devolver Max Pass Plus. Man, I'm so hungry. I, I was already hungry. Now I'm really hungry. Oh, wow. They actually have a bunch of games listed on there. Nice. Premium purchase. Death's, Death's Door, Devolver Tumble Time. Inscription. Uh, they look real. <laughs> Actual <laughs> gameplay. Nothing for rendered. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, the shadow right? No, I don't think so. This looks very different. Right. Shido Blade's coming back. Looks cool. This looks like a 2D, this, yeah, this looks yeah, really cool. Yeah, this is awesome. Oh, yeah. yeah. I like how it looks like old school, like 60s, 50s rendering. Yeah, man, what the model. Fuck? Yeah. Fuck, this looks incredible. Yeah, this is cool. 
Oh, this was on the Max Pass Plus website. I saw the title. Oh. To Yomi, okay. Back to Yomi. So basically, it's just like, hey, here's all the games. That looks freaking cool. That looks really cool. It's almost like 2D Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah. yeah. I, damn, I want that. Yeah, that looks cool. Honestly, I thought it was going to be a joke at first. Like, nope, it actually is. Uh, <laughs> it's it just another thing. Okay, this is kind of cool. players that attempted this before, before and failed. All right. Oh, interesting. Okay. So ghost runs. Indiana Jones. Oh, that didn't go well. I'm not sure if I love the first-person perspective for this. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's something that. I, yeah, I don't know. Maybe. I like the idea, though. I mean, I like the idea of you just constantly running past traps as fast as you can. Yeah. Yeah. I like that you have a whip. You can use the tether. That's cool. I agree, though, that I feel like the first-person perspective takes me out of it. Yeah, a little bit. Platforming in first-person is still not something that's perfected. There's a lot to pay attention to, though. Yeah, that's for sure. Mm, I, would, I would try uh, it. Yeah. Again, it's Fresh. that first-person perspective that kind of... Now, that's yeah. a phrase. Yeah. A phrase that goes lock, stock, hand in hand with gamers. An exclusive state of being, if you will, to which only the most adroitly premium amongst us could ever truly endeavor to gain entry. Until now. No, 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 no. That's this, not this. I'm snapping, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> it's a natural extension of the Devolver Max Pass Plus Premium Purchase Oh, wow, experience. so this is just a Twitch gaming thing that wrapped her hype meter. Uh, by Devolver yeah, apparently it is. Not like that. Textile <laughs> no, yeah, it's pretty dumb. Weaponized not a fan. Entity, so and that, of course, makes the stream like chat just full of the Raptor. Emoji. collection of exclusive garmentry emoji. only available to the Devolver Max Pass Plus survivors. I mean, subscribers. No, oh, hi. Shut up. <laughs> this collection of fashionable, comfortable, and catastrophically unaffordable formal wear was designed and manufactured entirely in-house by an elite selection of our most popular and attractive interns, to whom we've given key action words and access to an internet-connected device and, shall we say, choix de vivre. You may go. Thank you. <laughs> As with everything else in this presentation, the Devolver Max Pass Plus exclusive merch collection is, well, exclusive. Only available to subscribers in a premium purchase, not at all in the subscription fee you may or may not, but maybe, may be paying. Fashionable. Am I right? Arch James, this nah, is not, you know, this obviously is not take for a peek everybody. At these two premium no, purchase for products sure. that will be available to you soon. The adoring Devolver Max Pass Plus survivor humor is one of those very subjective things bk master oh, says that's real you can buy that suit for five hundred dollars <laughs> oh man that's awesome Premium it's basically one long shit post yeah I mean, with some cool but the does do good therein. on their shit posts like, or make good on their shit posts like they the do. stuff they show yeah. they make available like last year and yeah. then the games actually look decent too yeah and I, I like you know a good bit of their games yeah, this. The art style on this one's this looks interesting. awesome. Yeah. I mean, what are Should we, we mute this? No, this feels like an original song, so I okay. think we should be okay. Yeah. I think it probably is original. Yeah. Ooh. And the animation is so stellar. Yeah. This is cool. Oh, that's. <laughs> I love the way the ice yeah. impacted. That was neat. I want to see gameplay. What is this? Oh, that was cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I want to, yeah, I want to see gameplay. Wizard with a gun. I like the name. Oh. Oh, Multiplayer survivals. Oh, okay. You lost me. I'm not really into isometric 
perspective. Well, except for like strategy RPGs or like you know, tactics RPGs. But I mean, when they say multiplayer, do they mean co-op? Because I think they mean co-op. I, I I'm not gonna lie. This this if it's co-op, style I'm looks pretty good. Down. Yeah. Yeah, I don't mind the art. I don't mind the uh, isometric multiplayer bit to it. Um, I'm curious what they mean by survival. Like, do you have to stay fed and stuff like that? Yeah, and, and Switch makes it a slam dunk for me. I'll... Premium purchase. <coughs> right. I could I could see playing that with uh, my friend Nick on Thursdays. Oh yeah. I'll be that... honest. I was probably more interested in the, in the animation. Yeah. That first what game is, is still the one that's. I'm definitely curious to see what this is. Another isometric style game. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, but great music. Oh man, I yeah. like that. This that looks cool. I should, um, yeah, yeah. I should have qualified. I don't really, I don't mind isometric perspective. It's more the multiplayer survival aspect, kind of Diablo-esque. But this, this looks dope. I this can get into. Cool. I think. Cool. Yeah, Devolver. this is cool. I, I, this is pretty impressive so far. Devolver yeah. for me hasn't missed. That's wrong. Uh, mm -hmm. Definitely getting this, Hades esque vibes from the combat. A little bit, yeah. There's yeah. no way that this is a Switch game. I don't know. It feels like the light and is an octopus on his, around his waist. I mean, there will probably be. I should. I should reiterate. There should probably be a Switch version, but I feel like this isn't Switch equipment. This isn't running on Switch yet. Yeah. This is probably PC. I had to guess. This looks really fun. Yeah, it does. Uh, Unifox04 says, looks like Fantasy Smash TV. I like that, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Man, the, uh... I mean, there's there's a lot of stuff that's subtle that I really like in this. Like this the looks cool. Of a mm -hmm. screen shake effect is really well done here. Mm -hmm. And it looks like the, the combat has a real good, like, weight to the impact. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. This looks cool. Yeah, yeah that, door. that looks awesome. Okay. Okay. Oh, Xbox that, and the... PC. Yeah, okay, so you were definitely right, not running on Switch. Wow, July 20th. That, I'm, that <laughs> I'm, okay. I'm emailing Devolver today. Since that 1995, nice. Devolver Digital and the many incredible developers we've partnered with well, yeah, the have first produced what can game only is, be uh, appropriately so described far. as an imperial buttload of incredible <laughs> games an that consumers buttload. worldwide have purchased, never actually played, and then made public claims about the game's quality in order to substantiate their place in online <laughs> conversations about whether or not an indie game is <laughs> indie if it has a publisher. Oh, wow. I love it. I love it. The entire Devolver digital catalog on Steam <laughs> is available at Devolver Nextcast Plus as a premium service not included in your reoccurring monthly payments that we still haven't quite nailed down yet. I don't each of these gems will be available at a reduced rate for a baffling limited amount of time, with discounts ranging from, I, why not, to fuck me, why are my pants wet? Think of it as a <laughs> thank you from an old Jeez. friend. An old friend that believes what your, your pants, pants was saving. A premium experience. Oh my god. <laughs> Visit DevolverMaxCastPlus.com for more information. Man, she did a really good job keeping a straight face while all that Seriously. shit yeah. blew up. Yeah, she did. Purchase. I definitely get that the humor's not for everybody, though. Yeah. It is yeah. for me. I, I'm Ooh, enjoying what is this? it. this? Yeah, same. Inky black card-based card -based Odyssey. All right, you might lose me here. This yeah, is, uh, I'm not sure about card-based stuff. Is always you immediately lose me at card-based anything. It's just not, not for me. I, I mean, it's it's kind of a shame too because I really dig the art style. Yeah, I like the creepy. Yeah. It's yeah, it's creepy got it's got a like real it. creepy vibe to it. I like the fact that the cards talk to you, but mm -hmm. this is this is VR. It looks like too. Just the weird movement. God, those eyes, man. I wouldn't want to play this in VR. <laughs> I would actually probably prefer to play this in VR. If I was going to play a card game, I guess VR uh -huh. would be the way to do it. Like right. holding the cards, seeing them. But... I don't know. Also, Ooh, this is creepy! Yeah, it is. The style is really good. Oh, man. I love everything about this except the card-based gameplay. Yeah, I know, right? Everything else about this I love. Inscription. Ins All right. 
No, that's man. That still looks feels cool. like one to take a look, at, like keep an eye on. No platforms this year. Card game. Oh, I, I love that. Those eyes, man. Terrifying in VR, which is why I hope it is. Premium purchase. You could definitely get me to uh, look at it if it's VR. What Taniac I do actually like triple triad. I think just as part of. <laughs> hey, what the fuck? Do you oh, love God. video games? I'm a grown man. What, what are you doing in my bathroom? Do you that... love video games? <laughs> yes, I play them quite a bit. Do you want no. to pay for video I thought it was Morty's games? voice initially, not but it's no. not. No. No. What if you could play a game for free, but then later we charge you for cool stuff and make you watch ads for minimal benefit to you, the consumer? Well, that doesn't sound great. Yeah. Yeah. It's time, it's time, it's time. <laughs> One. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Let it consume your very being. <laughs> Turn real money into pretend money and spend it. <laughs> Turn real money into pretend money. Collect your favorite Diku, Diku, I love that, that game. You never even heard of. I love that they go here on this shit post, and it's definitely a real thing that they made. Oh, it's totally a real. Yeah, game. it's happening. Oh, it's coming. Yeah. Devolver Tumble. Yeah, coming this year. Future physics-based puzzle gameplay, elegant monetization, and strategic brand integration. Choose characters from a loaded roster. I love that snack room, man. Yeah, that's a lot of cereal. Huge big-time game points by matching and clearing the impossibly adorable heads on the tumble. We mentioned that it's free, right? Because it's free. Except for the ads part, where there are ads, and because of course there are ads, and because nothing is ever really free. Get hype and unleash each character's special move and clear chunks by that creating giant and activating thing. chaotic really good. Chili Right? Also, I really want some chili dogs, man. I know. Damn. Google Play by visiting devolvertumbletime.com. Okay, <laughs> now it's a bit. <laughs> that was gross. Yeah. yeah. Nina. Oh, hey. Let's talk about subscriptions for a moment. The subscription <laughs> service is an instrument of it's monetization like from days gone, when your grandparents wanted to try a new cheese each month and <laughs> guy just uncle keeps wanted going to look at photos of naked ladies from the comfort of his own tool shed. A relic. An unwieldy Jesus, physical that is, beast is that we have half that hot hot dog. slipped uh -huh. yeah, the digital Oh my god. Crushing it. Once and zeros to stand in for our stinky dairy product and perfect knockers. Devolver, though, aims to return subscription-based addiction back to its more tangible roots with a premium purchase title available only in this, the physical plane of actual, real, for real existence. Is that? Goddamn right it is. Introducing <laughs> Demon Throttle. By developer Doing Sock, the creators of Gato Roboto. Is coming oh, oh hell yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, it does. Love that game. Physical box set through our good friends at Special Reserve Games. Oh, you heard See, me. So that's right. the weird thing is Demon it's only physical. Will not, I repeat, and only will through that. that be available in any uh, Mopping Mulinga says that's Derek when he's sneaking food. <laughs> to purchase as a retail product and put on your that's shelf and you never play or to sell at ridiculous scalper prices to anyone who missed out on its initial offering starting. Today. Check a look. Check a look again. Alright, let's see what this Ooh, game's like. Gorgeous. So apparently we just got a like sudden like release of this Ooh, game. Oh, I already like <laughs> Yeah, this looks the music. So Come on. I like the whole aesthetic. Yeah, I'm into this already. Oh man, I even like the uh oh, audio. Boy. Or something. <laughs> oh, I want what? this. What? This looks cool. Why oh, is God, like it's, it's only it's, physical? Uh, it plays like King's. King's yeah, King Knight. Knight. Uh, King. King's, no, what is it? King's Knight. King's Knight. Contra. Right. <laughs> it plays kind of like yeah, Contra. King's Knight. No, that's King's Knight. Totally. Uh, yeah, totally I'm getting King's better. Knight vibes. Oh, I'm. God. I want to play this. And this music, man! This looks sick! Yeah, what the that hell? That is really cool. 
Wow. Oh, that I am so games. down with this. Huh? Right? I, I love it. It's good. Really good. Great work. We didn't get a release date, though. Well, it wasn't on. It's thunk. available now, I think. Moves, yeah, it's oh, it is? Oh, shit. Yeah. Shadow, shadow drop. drop. Supposed to physical be. shadow drop. drop. Now bring a home. physical shadow drop. That's new. Move. What's the punch? There isn't one. He does not have... Videotapes. <laughs> Nina. Well, tape. Uh, what she said. What's this now? <clears throat> well, <clears throat> we put the entire thing on a tape. And then sell it. Right, like, like this, right? Uh, right here. Videotapes. The trick, <laughs> though, is that there is one <laughs> and only one. Being reminded of space well, balls. Sell it to one buyer. We put only the entire thing just the one on a tape. Just the one. And then just the one. Sell it. Okay, and since there's only one, and the buyer like keeps this. it, and we broke the little tab on the inside, so you can't copy it. It is right. non. Fuck with a bull. Here. A non, non fuck with a bull. Tape. Right? NFT for short. It's tape. Go. It's gonna be a thing. Oh Can we do this? Can this be done? <laughs> it's, it's actually already been done. Okay, the one copy of this entire presentation on tape, the one in this player right here, is available online for the first Devolver Max Pass Plus Triple Platinum Elite Gold Star Magnum Double XL tier subscriber to go to DevolverMaxPassPlus.com and buy it. Okay, it is, it is totally non-fuckwickable. It does, does no damage to the environment, to the energy grid or the, the global technology supply chain because it is, it's just, I mean, it's just this old It's gone, it was $1,000 according to the, the camera found in, in a, in a, in a wow. box marked Nancy's bad What happened? Okay, Someone the bought the tape already. This, this yeah. was Jesus. That is ridiculous. I had seen non fuckwithable tape available brilliant. at the start of the presentation. I was like, what is this? Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Well, there you go, and it's already bought. Nina, Margaret, Jesus. Caleb. This is such a wonderful. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> What? 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 My God. I mean, what a sudden ending, but I mean, I like I it. There were some really good games revealed. Yeah, they really were. I need Demon Throttle in my life. Yeah, Demon Throttle looks amazing. I'm, I'm actually pulling up the website so I can look at the games again that they uh, showed off. Yeah, they have uh, Trek to Yomi looked really, really good. That yeah, Trek to Yomi like is that my, my, yeah. biggest, my biggest like I want. Yeah, that that yeah, game Trek looked to Yomi and Demon Throttle. Uh, Wizard with a gun, I I really liked. Uh, Maybe I wasn't I wasn't keen on Inscription. I thought eh, it's a card game. Uh, Tumble yeah. Time obviously is not going to be something I, I care about. Death's Door looked dope too, though. Death's Door looks great. And that's coming out real soon, very soon. Uh, Phantom Abyss, I thought was okay. That one where you run through and there's ghosts. Uh, oh yeah. I think Shadow Warrior Three looked pretty good, like glorious hell, but pretty good. Yeah. I don't remember seeing Terra Nil, which is no, but the they did show that off before. Gotcha. Demon Throttle, though, yeah, that's that's a big one. And it's, oh, Terra Nil is the one that's like everything's. Um, uh, a wasteland and you gotta bring it back to life and then give it a new Right. Uh, pre pre orders for Demon Throttle opened, but it doesn't come out until next year. Oh, okay. Okay, um, I was like, it's already out, that's like a physical shadow drop, that's weird. But that oh man, I that's easily oh, wow. the most exciting thing to me in, in this Apparently presentation. There's Along like with a line Trek for it and it's uh it says uh, the cover said to have to wait over two hours to pre order the game. That's ridiculous. Jesus. That's kind of ridiculous. I don't like yeah. that at all. I would. I mean, that's I want why I'm game. not a big fan of it being only physical from a yeah. small. Yeah. Set. I like the idea of a physical only release, but I'm yeah. not sure logistically how much sense it makes. This is a I have a commercial going on. I don't know if you do, Steve, but you're going to want to nope. mute that or I, get away from it. I I ended the the Twitch gaming stream altogether. Okay. Cool. Um, just because yeah, there's there's no point to continuing. The devolver portion is over. Um, yes. Yeah, I, I think the the big thing that I don't I, I 
I'm hesitant to defend limited releases of pretty much any kind, but a limited right. physical only release, I think, is particularly kind of uh, shitty because it costs nothing to to put it digitally on the eShop, right? Right. Like, right. It, you've already gone through the trouble of it's creating and producing the game. Putting it it's, on the yeah. eShop costs you exactly zero additional money. Um, and and a bunch of folks are going to miss out on what looks like a really cool game. Yeah, that's mm. things like I, I I like the idea of it, but but logistically, don't make it difficult for me to play your game. I just want to play that game. Yeah. Yep. I'm happy to pay for it. Just let me pay for it and play it. Funey Fox says their Twitter says no limit on quantities made. So apparently they'll keep making it, but yeah, I, and I will pre-order it because it does look good enough to to buy. Um, mm-hmm. I'll be honest, though, I, I was probably most excited about uh, Trek to Yomi. I think that yeah, game agreed. looks like mm-hmm. the most unique thing I've seen all E3 so far. Mm-hmm. Those <laughs> are the two highlights with, for me. Jane and Buck with a $5 donation. Imagine these writers and actors collaborated with Scott the Waz. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That would, that would be pretty amazing. I, I think that... Uh, but, but I gotta say, Devolver's brand of humor and Scott's seem to be uh, just a little bit divergent. I don't... No, yeah, I, a little bit. Yeah, I, I don't know, though, but I, I do, you know, I, I love these presentations. I look forward to the Devolver presser each year just because they get, like, they escalate and get crazier each year. But this yeah. one, this one, I think, was pretty... I think it's funny how they basically are poking fun at the rest of the industry and and what they're doing and the absurdity of the idea of subscribing to every publisher individually to get games yeah. um, i love that bit about uh, indie games aren't real if they have a publisher like that was great yeah putting so uh, many people on blast with that i love it yeah i <laughs> i did like that but oh overall i would say man i'm i'm torn between giving this like a good vibes and a great vibes because on mm-hmm. one hand and i do agree some of the folks in the chat were like rating the games and the presentation separately uh, because I do think that there's, I, I thought the presentation for me was like probably like an eight out of ten. I, I thought it was really yeah, funny. I, I think you so know, too. The the humor hit home for me pretty well. Um, the games I would wow. probably put, I mean, honestly, kind of close, like a seven and a half or so. Um, mm-hmm. If it weren't for the one card game, I probably would put it at an eight. But uh, even that card game, like with the creepy, like the aesthetic well, factor of those eyes, like that was really cool. Oh yeah, I agree. I just, I just don't want to play it, unfortunately. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. Like, yeah. you know, card games don't do anything for me, so <clears> it's, <throat> it's just not a game that it, I I know that I would probably pick it up and just be like, "Well, this is this is neat," but I actively don't mm-hmm. want to play this. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I would say, kind of, for me, it's great vibes across the board between the presentation. I do like the humor. I definitely get that it's not for everybody. Not judging anybody who doesn't like that humor, but I find it funny. Uh, I thought the presentation was funny, and even the games I wasn't interested in, I was still engaged with. Like even yeah. the ones I didn't want to play, I was still engaged by. So I'd say great vibes across the board. And goddamn, Demon Throttle! I did not expect King's Knight to make a resurgence in anything. I want to play that so much. Oh yeah. man, yeah, agreed. I, I think it's uh, I think it's a really good presentation. E three is off to a fairly good start, despite being a yeah. remote show, and we're all, you know doing this from our homes. Um, I give it all. I, I, I like that. It was nice, short and sweet. Like we got, just got some fun, fun bits. We got some, yeah. uh, uh, some cool looking games, uh, depending on your, uh, what you're into. And yeah, overall, it's yeah. good. Yeah. I, I do agree that maybe some of the individual bits went a little too long, um, but not overly long. I don't think, I mean, they were in and out in about 30 minutes, a little less. So, I think it was pretty well paced, and yeah, I, I enjoyed that. I always enjoyed Devolver, though. You just you never quite know what you're going to get with them, and that's what I like about it. It's kind of like a just a breath of fresh air from what you kind of expect to get from everyone else. Like, you know, tomorrow we're starting with Xbox and Bethesda. We know generally the tone to expect, what kind of things we're going to be seeing, and that's fine. But Devolver just throws a hand grenade into those expectations, and I love that. Yeah, that, that's true. You <clears throat> never know what you're going to get with Devolver, and I, I do appreciate that about them. Yeah, uh, just because it's kind of this frenetic, crazy energy uh, that that I've come to really enjoy. I think that the, it's a talented group of people, and mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I, I would you know I'm always excited to see what they what they have ready to uh, to show us. But 
Uh, speaking of which, uh, the E3 is definitely here because during that presentation, I received no fewer than seven separate emails about different E3 <laughs> things. So uh, oh, I got def- quite a few. Yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll definitely be looking over those just because there are a lot of things that I saw that I'm just like, yeah, I want to mess with that. So mm-hmm. uh, hopefully we'll have some coverage on those on the channel. But uh, I think it was a pretty good first day of E3. I'm going to go what I'm going to do after this yeah. is I'm going to watch the wholesome direct because I would like to see it. Um, yeah, me too. I heard there's some good things. Yeah, yeah, I imagine there are. Um, I just, you know, didn't. It, it's so hard to keep track of all these different presentations in a in a decentralized right. E3. It, it is definitely a lot easier uh, when you have to travel to E3 because you already have to plan out. Like, okay, I'm just committed yeah. to full time games coverage all day for a week, yeah. right? And that is just not the reality of what we do here. Uh, re, you know, mm-hmm. currently, hopefully in the future, but. Uh, so, so if something comes up, which it always does during E3, you're just okay. like, yeah, whatever. I'm already here, <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but when you're, when you're doing this and real life at the same time, things can just end up getting in the way. And, uh, right. unfortunately, you know, I had already made plans to go out with my kids in the morning and do some stuff with them. And I was like, okay, you know, the afternoon is for E3 and then I'm back to real life again. Right. Um, Hey, you missed the wholesome direct for some wholesome family time, which is exactly. Way more I was important. doing wholesome things exactly. directly with my family. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, but no, this is a fun first day. Obviously, this was a light first day for us. We only had two things to react to, but tomorrow uh, you'll be seeing way more of us. We've got yes. uh, the Xbox and Bethesda showcase at 10 a.m. That's going to be an hour and a half from what I understand. Then we've got 12, 15 p.m. Square Enix Presents. I'm so hyped for that. Please and then 4 look, p.m., look, the Future Games Show. And that's going to be a couple hours, too. So you're going to be with us uh, for way longer tomorrow if you're if we're lucky enough to have you. So we know today was a first a, a first a light first day, but tomorrow's going to be a lot more intense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So so stay tuned. Tomorrow we we get started at what time? Uh, 10 a.m. Pacific for Xbox and Bethesda. Then uh, 1215 is Square Enix and 4 p.m. is Future Games Show. Right. Nice. Uh, late yeah, night cool. sprites. As, as we close out with a five dollars super chat, says, "Let's recreate the E3 experience. Walk around the house for four to five hours. Redo your house to look like a hotel, and eat a ton <laughs> of takeout. Who's with me?" Um, nice. Sorry, man. I'm I'm not with you. No. <laughs> I, I I I'll do the eat a ton of takeout, but that's just because that's my life. Um, right. But uh, yeah, making my house look like a hotel. No thanks. The hotels yeah. I've stayed in are, are significantly less comfy than my home. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I but I, I'm with you on the takeout part at least as well. I'll probably get some takeout at some point today as well. Heck yeah. And uh, yeah, but but the rest of the day for me is wholesome direct intermission and ratchet and clank. It's it's going to be a long gaming day. I'm but I'm going to take another about. look at uh, Mario and Rabbids after dinner. See if there's anything there to do like a mini deep dive because I don't think there's a right. lot to be honest. But uh, we'll see. Cool. Yeah. And real quick, if if any of y'all are looking for something fun to check out, apparently, uh, Dot Emu's YouTube channel just uploaded gameplay for Streets of Rage 4's uh, DLC, like right now. Ooh, I am watching that right now. Do you want to link and wa- let's watch that real quick? Because yeah, yeah, watch it together. I can throw that up on the screen. Watch that be yeah, the thing that it. gets us a DMCA. <laughs> <That'd be awful. laughs> right. They're like none of that Twitch gaming stuff. All right, guys. Let's 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 give you a little bonus before do you have a, the. Do you have a link because I want to see that. End things off. Uh, I'll send you the link. Yes, let me drop that into Discord real quick. Uh, thanks right. for sticking around for the kind of post stream. And yeah, if you're enjoying this, of course, uh, if you're not subscribed yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, yes, as please. Dad, we have plenty more to talk about. Yep, we'll be is, we'll be doing a bunch of holy stuff crap! It's eight E3. minutes long. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay. All right, y'all. Uh, so I'm going to hit play in three, two, one. He's a meaty boy. What is going on here? Oh, it's it's not playing for me in, in oh, OBS. Oh, really? That's bizarre. It's playing for me. There we go. I got it on screen. Okay. All right, let me restart All right. that. All right, yeah, we'll restart. Three, two, one. All right. There we go, folks. Now it's working. There we go. All right. Hype for this. See Shiva in action. God, those combos. Shiva's man, combos, man. Shiva looks yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. the air combos. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah. Man. Oh, oh wow. Oh, oh, that's cool. The dash the end. I love that. Shiva's pretty freaking Whoa. sweet. Final 
think I love how he like tele weapons. telekinetically that just like pushes the weapons in. Yeah, no, I don't think he's telekinetically doing it. I think he's just punching them. Is, is it just he punching? Okay, it almost. Yeah, he's oh, like, yeah, he breaking them. Kicks it with his foot. I see. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, that's so. Sick. The combo is still going. Oh, oh, bro. He's not broken. Of course, the guys with those long ass spears always do that. They're so annoying. I mean, I feel like they highlighted this because this is one of the more challenging rooms in the game, too. Yeah. It seems this just makes you want to go play Streets of Rage 4 again. More stuff's like going on than usual for this in this room. You get it? Yeah, I think this room usually has a bunch of Galcias. But it might be more than. Maybe a usual. later one. Yeah. I remember these two. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. Slows him down in time. That's cool. Oh, man. I just want to play Street Street 4 yet again now. I'm glad that even the developers occasionally, like, miss the, uh, <laughs> miss the opponent. Yeah, like, I know. Or get hit. It's like oh, that throw. That throw is cool. God, just one after the other. Oh, wow. Yeah. And he's shoved that projectile through all three of them. That projectile does go through everybody, no matter who it is. Oh, okay. Still die. I love that dash. That dash is pretty cool. Looks like that dash comes at the cost of quite a bit of green life, though. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, you gotta hit him normally to get that back, so... Damn, those gotta... air combos are intense. Yeah, the air combos is where it's at. Yeah. Oh, my god. Jeez. Awesome. I thought they were going to switch to the other character at that moment, honestly. Well, I guess if it's almost eight... Oh, yeah, eight minutes. We're already two and a half minutes, so probably soon, I would think. If it's uh, after this equal time for everybody. God, they are really pushing it to the edge with that... Uh, light bar. Especially yeah. the apple killer. Oh, whoa. Oh, my God. Okay, here we oh, go. Here we All go. right, here we go, Max. Alright, what you got, Max? Classic character coming in from the first. Honestly, he's probably I'm the one I'm least excited about. Yeah, he's probably the one I'm least into, just because I'm not really big into heavy characters, wrestler types. I do like how he can jump off the wall. Right. Oh, I love this song, too. I love the whole soundtrack, but this is one of my favorites. In it. He's essentially my Uh huh. Yeah, he basically seems like he plays like classic games, which I'm sure a lot of people Oh, look at that. Yeah. Man, he piles on the damage there. Oh yeah. god, yeah. That's the thing, you're not doing massive combos like Shiva, but you are just wrecking them in one go. God, this this game soundtrack is they they just nailed it so perfectly. Yeah, Julie yeah, Wyland in the uh, or Wynand in the chat says this music slaps. Absolutely. Yeah, it does. Yeah, he, he hits hard, but it, it just think the heavy characters. It's just not like yeah. Oh man, that I, I do love that. Off. Yeah, the kick off for some speed. That's, yeah, that the kick off nice. the wall is cool. Kind of reminds me of Vega. Yeah. I will say though that uh, Max is not nearly as flashy as she was in the comics. Like, definitely not. But they're definitely saving the best for last because I'm so. Yeah, I'm really to excited Estelle. to see how Estelle. Yeah, she's the one I'm looking forward to most. I just wish we could have seen Skate in his art style. I just really want to see what he looks oh, yeah. like now. And like in this time and whatever age he is now. Like, as soon as I saw her, I'm like, like I want to play as her. Max is a very high risk character. Like, he is burning a lot of his own HP. Oh, oh, nice. Nice special. Cool. Perfect time to throw, toss that over because you're trying to toss these wow. guys out. Wow. Nice. The that wall juggle. Cool. Yeah. Oops, he's dead. Go after that apple. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> he threw the pipe to the wall, nice. Oh. Gotta do life. Yeah, it's time to just start tossing fools out the window. Yeah. That's... Oh, oh, no! Well, you get but then that happens, yeah. Wait, whoa! Oh. What happened? I think they did it on purpose? 
<laughs> Maybe. Oh, they were trying to do that where you just toss it. Oh, them. I see. Okay, that's that's pretty funny. I got I gotta give them credit for not throwing perfect gameplay on yeah. these trailers. Yeah, yeah, I actually like that. It's refreshing to see the developers of the game screw up in the same way we all know we do. Yeah, here we go. Estelle time. Alright, let's see her. Oh, those grabs. Yeah. Oh, she has a like a jumping punch instead of a uh, like a jump kick. Yeah. Interesting. Ooh. Oh. oh cool. She looks just as fun as I hoped. Mm -hmm. Diamond Death. This is uh, Streets of Rage Four. This is not part of uh, Devolver Digital. It just came out while we were here. While we we're all. Excited. Yeah, we. Yeah. I, I we happened to get an email about this trailer as we were wrapping up the stream, so we figured. E3 is going to E3, so why not just show it while we're here? Yeah. It's footage of the upcoming DLC, which still doesn't have a release date, actually. No, we don't. But clearly we it's don't pretty it's far actually along. Other yeah. than characters that is part of uh, Mr. X's Nightmare. Yeah, we don't really know a whole lot about what Mr. X's Nightmare actually is. I think it's new story content. But I'm not sure if it's like a simulation or, or what. It was all a dream. Just like the Devolver right. Press Conference. <laughs> but I mean, the Streets of Race 3, Mr. X was a brain in a jar, so, you know, he oh, could still be alive somehow. Cloudberry, I'd love to see more of the TNT, TNT game. Uh, oh, yes. please. I, I imagine I, yeah. we'll see something. I hope. Somebody has to show it off. Who's publishing it? I imagine I'll get another email. It's Dot, it's dot Emu, isn't it? Or they're involved with it. I think Dot Emu, they're involved with it. Yeah. Yeah, Estelle's my favorite. I don't care. She was cool. <laughs> powerful. Yeah, she I was think, my all-around like badass. I developed by Tribute game. Games and published by Dotted. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was gonna say I think the thing I miss most about an in-person E3 is that TMNT is absolutely the kind of game where I would look up the publisher's booth and just go there to see if it's there immediately. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that would be like day one, hour one. I'm gonna go see if the game's there. Same. And look at me. I really hope we see more of it during E3 season, though. I can yes. just, I need that game. The classic. Nice. I'm so Falling glad you get the rocket launcher. Oh, okay, here we go. There you <laughs> go. Nice. Fish. You do? I'm, I, <laughs> yeah, I, I'd rank it to Estelle, Shiva, then Max. Yeah, oh, nice. pretty much. I agree. Well, that was fun. Yeah. It was. Uh, Skull Kid Tiger it is two players online, four players local. Right. So I, I do wish it was th at least three players online. That would be nice. Yeah, I, that'd can, be nice. I can see why it's not. Yeah. Agreed. Um, so, yeah, er everything. Uh, wow. That was that was actually it got me hyped to want to play Streets of Rage 4 again. But also now I know yeah, I'm going to wait I'm... before I replay it because uh, I, I want to play as Shiva personally. I think Shiva does the most for me out of the three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I just really like the martial arts kind of vibe, you know, that, that he's got and the ability to do those air combos. Those were just fucking the sick. Air combos yeah. I like those. And I do love that dash he has. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I really liked Devolver. I liked this trailer. Uh, E3's off to a surprisingly good start in my opinion. I, I did not I expect agree. much from E3 this year. I'm, they're delivering more than I had hoped. Mm -hmm. Um, which I, I think is an objectively good thing. I think that uh, it's nice to have some semblance of normalcy and have E3 back to a degree. Uh, but, you know, it's still a far cry from an in-person event. Uh, right. A far cry. I heard. I saw. I see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, thank, thank you so much for joining us, everybody. Make sure to, yeah, uh, you know, like and subscribe to the channel. We're going to be doing reaction streams all E3 through tuesday so we got a bunch more streams coming up so make sure to subscribe we'll be back uh tomorrow at uh, new or sorry 10 a.m pacific for xbox and bethesda and uh if you like what we do here head on over to patreon.com slash gb gaming and check out all the different uh reward tiers and stuff we offer um we're doing a lot of cool stuff over there as well but either way we're just happy to have you guys here and we love you all yeah, Absolutely. thank you so much. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go do the things that we have to do. You know, like I said, real life and E three are kind of ma mashed together this weekend. Uh, so we're gonna go do the real life stuff until tomorrow morning at ten a.m. Uh, where we'll join you. Um, expect me to be somewhat hyped for this. I'm 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 just gonna give you guys my quick uh, hope 
for uh, Xbox C3. The small thing I want to see. Uh, I hope that we get the return of the custom controller lab. Uh, so that I can oh, finally that get really a good. second yeah. Xbox Series controller. I've been holding out for six months now, waiting for it to come back. And they said <laughs> early 2021. Well, we're into mid 2021 now. So yeah, uh, I, would, I would like to see a new banjo game. We're not going to see a new banjo game, but I would like to. Um, but beyond mm-hmm. that, I'd like to see a little bit more of the Perfect Dark reboot they're doing. Yes. Yeah, I want to see that. And I don't know. I, I want to see Halo Surprise Infinite. Me. I want an update Surprise. on Halo Infinite, and I this is vague as hell, but I want to see a game that makes use of the Xbox Series X the same way Ratchet and Clank makes use of the PS5. I want something that just shows off the tech that they've got in that thing, uh, yeah. because there's yeah. nothing yet. So anyway, uh, we'll see you all oh, tomorrow. Oh, actually, oh, sorry, ahead. really quick. Speaking of Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, check out Derek's review. He just published oh, his yeah, review uh, yes. yesterday, so make sure to check that out Yeah, uh, that right is... here on the channel. That is Thank on my you. list as well, and and we're going to yes. have a Ratchet and Clank discussion next week after Ash has finished the game, uh, along oh, with our good friend Kevin it. from the Golden Bolt. So yeah. stay tuned. Tons of stuff coming this week and next, uh, but we'll oh, see yeah. you all tomorrow at 10 a.m. Indeed. Bye, everyone. Oh, sorry. Bye, everybody. <laughs> oh.